G'day guys, today I'm here with Joseph Albahari. He is the uh, man behind Linkpad. Um, most .NET developers, top few tools I guess. Yes, yes so. So, uh, I, I am nice and well prepared for you Joseph. Mm -hmm. I have gone ahead. Installed I've, it. Installed I, the whole I thing. actually mm -hmm. installed the whole thing. Uh, I will give you a bit of feedback. When you've got four, four choices like this, mm -hmm. I don't know which one to choose, I'm just a poor simple user. Oh, wow. I suggest one of these becomes the banana. And do you know what a banana is? Show me. Okay, uh, let me just team viewer. They have a nice banana. A banana is something that makes it super clear what to do. There's only one clear thing. See how they have that, but the other ones are all turned. So, you know, I know there's lots of people that might want just uh, the pure exe without an installer. That would become one of the, the smaller links underneath it. But there's just one clear thing to do. Yeah. Which would be the .NET 4 mm -hmm. version, I guess. Mm -hmm. that, that it is nowadays, yes. Yeah. So, um, I'd love to know the history behind Why did you decide to create Linkpad? It was when I was writing the book C Sharp 3 in a nutshell. Yep. I decided to really get into Link. Yep. Uh, and it seemed like something that needed to be done. Feature that Why can you just do it in Visual Studio? A visual, this creates the, uh, the data context for you automatically. So you can just type a link query in and run it against the database. Uh, you can't do that in Visual Studio. Okay. But you could have had like, you know, um, a you know, basic template and give uh, people just a project. Oh, you're asking why didn't a link pad exist as an add-in in Visual Studio. Yeah. It'd be much harder to do like that. Yeah. And uh, the uh, points for integration with Studio uh, are somewhat more advanced and esoteric features, so maybe uh, nowadays with the progression of the impact, it might make sense to look at some of those options now. So right. as, a, as a starting product, it would make much more sense to have it as a standalone. As a standalone. As a what? As a standalone product. Right. Okay. So um, let's uh, kick this off. Can you give me the? Actually, can we step back in time? Mm -hmm. Why did people? Why? You know, there's plenty of guys out there who do a lot of good work, um, including our cameramen, who are pure SQL guys. Why should they be doing Link in the first place? The, um, a lot of people like uh, SQL because that's what they're used to using. But SQL was invented in the 1970s, yep. and there's, it's, it was good for very simple things, but pretty quickly people started doing far more complicated yep. queries with it. Um, if you've ever had to do correlated subqueries with it, when you have to join things, there is so much uh, repetition inside a, a SQL query and messiness in there, you don't realize how bad it is until you actually start using Link and using it properly the way it was designed. Right. You rarely need to ever join Link. So the data comes out shaped, uh, uh, you get full IntelliSense as you're doing the, the query, and it's a much easier querying language and more productive query in general, not for everything, but for, for in general. Right. So Joe, I'm going to give you a better answer. Oh yeah? And the better answer happens to be on your site, because I've given this to many people. Why Link Big SQL? I think you give mm. quite a, a very simple, a nice way of explaining why it's better. You know, I know sure, you just verbalized yes. it, but uh, this is pretty tangible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen anything better than this on the web? Or is that why you created it? That's why I created it. I've not seen anyone else do yeah. that. It's a bloody good page. Mm. Why link beats sql.aspx? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, you want to show us uh, a couple of small things in here for people that sure. don't use it? Well, one thing that uh, a lot of people are unaware of mm. is that this is not just for link and for, uh, for database queries. You can put any expression in there and runs it. This is a, a cold scratch pad, and uh, you, you convert it from an expression here in this. Oh, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes at the bottom, I see that time, and sometimes I don't. Like in your demo today, mm -hmm. the time wasn't showing. Ah, that was. Um, I think that's a bug in the latest beta. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. right. Okay. Yeah, there's, some, um, there's quite a lot of features that have gone in the latest one. So, uh, right. Some things aren't running up. Down here. Right, okay. The um, yeah, that's the first time Blue is taking 139 milliseconds. I think yeah. it's spinning up the app domains and so on and loading DLLs. The second time it's three. Be, be a lot quicker. And it's useful for things. For instance, you can start playing, you know, with regex in mm -hmm. there or with uh, any any C sharp uh, expression. Where you can have a series of statements. This one here but with that program. And there's shortcuts for all of these things. You can uh, put a whole program in there. And then when you've got that working, 
then you paste that into Visual Studio. And that's right. a much more productive way. It's kind of like doing dynamic development and iterative development. You're taking bits of code and getting to work, and you've got a very nice output formatting. The, the results there are, um, it automatically expands object graphs. For instance, you know, dig through with a debugger. Right. So how do I get to your, your, the samples of your session you just did? Samples for the asynchronous session, you go to samples. And under here, there's download more samples. Right. And this, if you've got internet, I love how you uh, integrate it into rather than send me off to a to right, a sure. web web client. It's really nice. If we scroll down. Maybe we have to use a scroll bar. This is a new. This is the new uh, demo package. So yep. you click this one here, and now it will download it asynchronously, of course. There's a cancel button, and uh, there, there they now show asynchronous functions in right. C Sharp. Okay. And so let's just do run one. If you've not installed the async CTP, right. Oh. Then, but it will it will warn you if you run the test. Which which one? This test this one. Card. Yep. Run that. Five. Yep. Here we are. Come up with an error because uh, we've not installed right. the CTP. Now I noticed that you have a uh, a lot of. Um, Documentation in here. I'm going to ask mm. you. I'm going to ask you, but like you mm. kind of expo it's a tutorial, but it's yes. a tutorial essentially in text. Yes. Have you thought about adding uh, support for inline images? I've, I've thought about yeah. images, and voice would be quite good too to record oh, voice. Quite good. Yeah. I've definitely I've thought about that. Yeah. There is actually a way of doing so images. So this is given the error, obviously. It's a way of doing images yep. um, in here. It's not quite as smooth as I'd like, but it does it does work. So that gives you an overview, for instance, of concurrency. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's one way of doing. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I, I noticed during your session that you had an, uh, a red message down here that said something like it was red and in bold, mm. and it said, um, you know, control something. F5 yeah. to cancel yeah, control background five. threads. So what do you show? Is that in the new version? That's in the new version. Well, my tip to you, first of mm -hmm. all, I don't think it should be in red. I don't think it should be in bold. I would just have it in normal text. And I would only show it when it's actually right, executing. You don't need to read it when it's not executing. It's just visual noise. Yes, then. It, it, it doesn't actually know when it's finished executing. That's the difficulty. Oh, because doesn't it? What, what you're doing is you're creating background threads that are doing oh, things. I query see. completes, and then suddenly it writes this extra stuff out right. there. Now, some people, if, if they plan to do that, yes. great. But if they didn't plan that, it's going to surprise them. And they think, well, how do I stop this? Right. And so that's why the message comes up in red. OK. Oh, well, that's, um, that's good. Um, is there anything else you want to call out in there? Um, well, the product is free, and it's um, certainly a good way to, to learn and experiment. And if I want to get a pro version, what's the damage for that? The pro version is with the auto-completion. Auto-completion, is that your way of saying uh, IntelliSense? It is, yeah. <laughs> I, I suspect it's, it's trademarked IntelliSense. All right, okay. Um, so, um, uh, how much is the full version? And that's uh, 30, $39, and there's a, an enhanced one for 58 that includes a few extra things. So there's there a well. pro version and a pro plus version. Super pro version. All oh, right, premium, okay. Yeah. That's the way to go. Um, what percentage of users go for the free version? I would say more than 90%, no. only 95%. And what percentage go for the um, first pro version? The actually most go for the premium. Oh really? You purchase yeah, most button because it's not that much more expensive. What does it have extra? It has the ability to query multiple databases at once. Oh right, okay. And I noticed that you're into uh, user voice. It's great. User voice is great. How long have you been using it? Um, it's been, I think, maybe a year or a bit more. It has all the suggestions up there. It does, and it prioritizes them. It puts them in by the, uh, the number of votes, and people can comment on that as well. And, and, have discussions so, with other people. So people want autocomplete for VB.net as number one. That's the number one as you can see. Yes. I won't say what you said about VB the other day. I didn't say anything. What are you <laughs> but I, mm. I will encourage you strongly that the first thing you should put on that is the extension manager. Extension manager is support. Mm. Yeah, .NET developers love um, just mm. picking picking popular sure. ones from the, from the mm. gallery in the extension manager. Yes. So uh, that's more important than that. No, okay. Take away from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that, thank you very much, Jason. Thanks that was, very much. That was a nice, uh, quick look at it. Cheers.